Hey, hey, hey. It's chapter 8, part 2 of the Ratchet and Clank 100% guide, and this is me. It's me. It's Mr. 100p. Now, this part, in terms of surface travel, is not very far actually, but it does take eight, just about 8 minutes. Not sure why it takes so long, probably just gotta do a lot of backtracking. But who really cares? You wanna see everything, right? Right? Yeah. Thought you would have. Okay, I forgot to mention in the last part, but my videos have been significantly brightened. I mean this, some of the clips when I was playing this first time were pitch black. That's how bad it was. This was completely pitch black where I am now. I've had to brighten it considerably. I hope it doesn't look too you know, the quality hasn't gone down because of how to break it, brighten it, but obviously I can't see how it could be worse quality if you can't see. You know. You know what I mean. Statue of Quark. There's a couple of them in the series. Anyways, yeah, it's the first time you climb a ladder. That's dangerous, you shouldn't hop off the ladder. What if you miss? What if it's rained and you slip? Oh well. On his conscience be it. Anyways, we've got another Hydro Displacer puzzle here. Very easy Hydro Displacer puzzle, but still a Hydro, hydro Displacer puzzle. Those little dudes, not so little dudes, are called Pool Sharks. Yeah. They just look like fat fat fish, that's about as best as I can describe it. Now we're gonna get the gold bulls. Gotta hover down into this little square area. And there'll be a gold bolt. And I don't know why I stood on the platform because now time is running out while I'm doing the cutscene. Still much to do it though. Oh well. Back up the stairs we go. Again, not an awful lot to say in this part. Although I might change my uploading habits because I'm going to be busy soon. So I'd like to get as much of this out of the way as possible. I say it like it's a bad thing. It is, it's evil. I hate this thing. It's so annoying. We should never start it. I'm kidding. This is fun. I still have no idea what my next series of videos is going to be. I don't know if it's even going to be a walkthrough. You might want something else, I don't know. I'm guessing 80% that it will be a walkthrough. Because this is a game where I'm doing 100%. This is a channel where I'm doing 100% walkthroughs. So it wouldn't really make sense not to do walkthroughs. What else could I do? Oh well. I don't know. The only reason you've got to kill these poor shocks is because you can't kill anything when you're swimming. And those things are fast for fatties. And seriously, they, they swim fast. Big fatties like they are. Well, anyways, more hydro displacer things. Not much left to do here. A couple of boats. Drain the pool. Kill the pool shark. Refill the pool. Drain the pool. <laughs> Use the swing shot. Drain the pool. Raise the pool. Actually, no, we don't drain the pool. We raise the pool first. Then we drain the pool. And then we walk along a corridor. That's about as much as there is left in this part. And then you get the part you've all been waiting for. You can call it a couple of things. 
You can call it the Bloggy and Snaggle Beast. You can call it Boss Guide Episode 2. You can call it Boss Bio Revenge of the Boss. Or you can call it Quark's Pet. Or you can call it the Monster of Doom. No, you can't. No, nobody calls it the Monster of Doom. Oh, you can call it Quark's Betrayal. That's a popular one. This does actually signal the end of this planet. Signals the end of the search of Quark and the beginning of the betrayal of Quark. You know what you're thinking? Ooh, spoilers! Why didn't you remind us there are spoilers? Because seriously, if you're going for a hundred percent run, you are not going to have not finished the game before. You'll finish the game at least once to even try for 100%. If you're like me anyway, and most people. I don't know, is anybody else like that? Does, do people finish the game 100% before they even finish them? Just the story? I don't know, I never thought about it. To be fair, I'm guessing 90% of people do finish the game before they finish at 100%, if they even finish at 100%. Now the best way I can describe not killing those pool sharks would probably be, it'll be like fucking Jaws. That's the best way I can describe it. And now for the non-explicit version, it'll be like Jaws. Anyways, this can be quite annoying. You just gotta jump, and for some reason you can't grab on. I found that holding R1 right before you jump, like you would if you were just on normal land, seems to work. You seem to be able to grab it. Anyways, we're about to head through the door, as soon as we drain the pool again. Because I'm pretty sure you can't get up there unless you drain the pool because the height to jump is too much. There hasn't really been anything funny to say so far in this chapter, apart from maybe cannonball. There's, don't know how that's funny. That's probably the funniest thing though. It's been a pretty serious episode so far. Serious. Why do I keep saying episode? It's not a TV series. It's been a pretty serious chapter so far. Don't know about the next part. The next part's a boss, but boss guide. So I don't know. I enjoy the bosses. Maybe something I'll come to us when I'm trying to record that. We are almost at Quark, you can even see him down the corridor. So we are going to have to end it here. There is a portal to the left where if you come back, you can walk back to that area. That's not important. Next up is the boss guide.